Hello, I'm Dave from Dino PC, and today we're talking about the 1080 Ti. So first came the 780 Ti that showed us you could get near Titan performance for a lot less money. Then came the 980 Ti, um, and we got what was, or in some cases, better than Titan X performance for less money. And now the rumours are rife, saying that the 1080 Ti is going to be coming at CES 2017. So I'm going to go through the rumours and explain it to you. According to the Chinese language site ZOL, the 1080 Ti will be revealed at CES 2017 in January. For those of you who don't know, CES is a huge tech conference. We covered it last year. Click here to see Silas's going around all the booths and asking everybody the right questions. So before we get into this, a lot of this is guessing on some people's part, rumours on others and leaks in some. So make sure you take everything that you hear here today with a pinch of salt because the final specifications may of course change and maybe Nvidia don't even know what they're going to be bringing out. Going over the specs, we currently have got a rumour that the 1080 Ti will have 3,328 CUDA cores and 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory with 208 TMUs. Now, while that CUDA core count is slightly less than the Titan X, this is obviously something that we would be expecting. It's been the same story with the 980 Ti and of course the same story with the 780 Ti. The Titan X, or the Titan XP as a lot of people call it, has 3,584 CUDA cores. So you're only getting around 200 less. Honestly, you probably won't notice the difference. The interesting rumour that is going around is that it will have not GDDR5X RAM as is with the Titan X and 1080. You will be having GDDR5 RAM instead. You may be thinking, why on earth would they do this? Surely that will hamper the performance of the car compared to maybe even the 1080. Well, not necessarily. Let me explain. First off, GDDR5X is going to be a lot more expensive than GDDR5 RAM, which means that they can, of course, lower the cost of the 1080 Ti if the rumor is true. There could also be an argument made that the 1080 Ti may not need GDDR5X, since the 1080 Ti will have the same memory bus as the Titan X Pascal um, with 384-bit, uh, would still have more memory bandwidth than the 1080, and this should actually put it kind of slap bang in the middle between the 1080 and the uh, Titan XP. It's really annoying that they've called it the same card name for two, two twice in a row, because I have to it's not actually called the Titan XP, it's called the Titan X, but it's the new Titan X, not the old Titan X. So it's it's still new, it's just still called the Titan X, for those of you wondering. Once again, please remember though that these rumours are indeed may not be true, as ZOL also stated that the 1080 Ti would have GDDR5 X, something that the previous leaks said that it wouldn't, which is very interesting indeed. Something that all of the rumours do have in common though is that CES 2017 is when the Titan XP Reduced 1080 Ti will launch. And this kind of makes sense. It looks like Nintendo's NX is going to be revealed around the same time as well. And as that is almost certain to have an Nvidia Tigra inside it, or maybe even an Nvidia Tigra 2, then this would make sense to launch the 1080 Ti and the Tigra 2 at the same time, sort of showcasing them uh, both. This would mean that Nvidia would get a lot of coverage, which is good because they haven't exactly had much coverage since the 1080, the 1070, the 1060, and then the Titan X all launched. It's been all quiet on the Western front, almost nothing from Nvidia at all in terms of exciting new things. But that would be a change for CES 2017, as we are most likely going to be seeing the 1080 Ti and, or my prediction, the uh, Tigra 2, or at least an updated Tigra chip. We shall find out. So where is the 1080 Ti going to fit in all of this? Well, once again, only speculation can um, sort of be given here, but the 780 uh, was about 25 to 20 percent uh, less powerful than the 780 Ti, and the 980 Ti was 
20 to 25 percent more powerful than the 980 um even more powerful in some cases uh, and a lot of people with the 980 ti were wondering why bother buying a titan x when the 980 ti was actually better in most circumstances you could get aftermarket coolers for it and it, it outperformed even the titan x in quite a fair few games and so why would anybody buy the titan x well, it seems that NVIDIA aren't really aiming their Titan X or their Titan series at the gamer market. They also want to incorporate things like deep learning and machine learning uh, into their cards as well on the uh, top end of the gaming stuff. So Titan X is for ballers and the TI series is for people with their heads screwed on. By the look of it, again. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, then make sure you leave a like because it helps us out here at Dino PC greatly. Share it with your friends as well if they're interested in computing. And we will see you guys next time for another video. Bye-bye.